having the potential to have a class with my mom was an interesting thought at first. But my mom poured herself into ASU and, and really embraced the culture and embraced the classroom. And so it, it just got to be kind of normal. I was here first in 1993 um, as a college freshman. I lived in the dorm and I had a great time, but I didn't go to class much. And um, I just didn't know what I wanted to do yet. So I went home and I did some community college for a while. And then I met my husband and got married and we got pregnant right away. And so then I was mom for a long time. I walked with my AA in 2015. I decided I really needed to face what I had left here. I don't know, I think that if more people heard her story, more people would do the same thing because there's no age limit on this school. It was really hard to come back, go from a really high grade with my AA back down to a 0.6 GPA. But I did two classes and then I did four and I fell in love with the campus again and I fell in love with just being in class. After 12 credits, um, I applied for academic renewal and thankfully I was approved. And then I applied for the four plus one program and I was accepted into that as well. She's brilliant. I feel like she knew that, but then she re-realized it. She's turned into a somewhat of a poster child for the English literature department. My favorite thing is to have the same teacher in a different format and for them to tell me, your son is such an amazing student, such an amazing guy. We have never yet had a class together. That will change next semester. Yeah. But... I'm definitely really proud of her for everything that she's done. It's really meant a lot to me to be able to to look at her going through this journey at the same time as I am and having as much if not more success than I am and, and really becoming someone who exemplifies the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences English Literature program. She's absolutely amazing.